Hello, beautiful souls. Again, this may not be for everyone, but if you've noticed this dynamic with a particular person, it's because it's part of your soul contract with each other to actually push you both back within yourselves, to connect with your highest vibrational version of yourselves, rather than focusing or fixating on the external world, even when that external world is you focusing on the connection or the other person. This very much has a twin flame energy, the energy of a spiritually catalyzing connection that has activated you both to reach your highest soul potential, which involves a lot of self-focus, focusing on your own path, your own soul's growth and evolution. So you might find this ironic dynamic where the more you focus on them and on trying to make the connection work, the more it feels like the two of you are separating or experiencing division or just a disconnect. But the more you focus within yourself, the more you create this magnetic polarity that draws the two of you together more strongly. Again, I don't really know who I am speaking to here, but I hope that message reached you. I do channel many different people, situations, and connections throughout these reading videos. So please, as always, only take what connects with you personally. Now I do want to channel a bit more into this lover's energy. What else can I channel for this lover's card? Four of Swords reversed. Someone could have escaped or walked away from some kind of situation. They may be going through a major transition in their life, but feeling as though they're spinning or having trouble moving forward. Almost like a never-ending transition, like trying to get somewhere, but always feeling like you're in flux. I know that it's kind of difficult to find the words to describe this energy. It may be difficult even for the person I'm connecting into here to really describe why they're feeling the way that they're feeling or what is going on here, because this situation does have a lot of energy of confusion around it. With Ace of Swords reversed, someone may feel as though they failed at something here. I'm getting a lot of masculine energy from this card, so this could be a masculine that you, Divine Feminine, are connected to, who is in a very low space mentally at this time sitting in a lot of heavy regret, feeling as though they failed towards you in some way. And I have a card coming out here, King of Wands. Interestingly, it came out in the middle position, which tells me that this masculine may be transitioning from the King of Wands reversed energy, which is someone who is sometimes focused on themselves at the expense of others, someone who could be possibly lying about something. I get, in the past, there may have been this energy of this masculine either lying to you, divine feminine, or lying to themselves about how they were really feeling towards you, not really keeping their heart open. In fact, closing their heart really hard to you, into this connection that led to that king of wands reversed energy. From divine muscular. Type yes, if you believe. My beloved love. And I'm also picking up here. And this was actually the message that came through as a kind of download just prior to recording this reading, which is with this Four of Wands card reversed. This can be like the opposite of a reunion or a harmonious coming together. And we also have the Star card, which is really interesting because this speaks to spiritual awakening, rejuvenation, and I feel that the power of your energy is actually awakening others specifically, though I keep picking up on these masculine energies. It could be one masculine that you're connected with. This could be plural. There may be multiple masculines that you're interacting with. This could be platonic. This could be in a social context, a work context. This also could be those that you interact with, even in a very seemingly mundane way, in your community. Now, of course, in other cases, this might literally be romantic situations as well. So always take this as it connects with you. But what I'm really getting is that you are like this beacon, a sort of lighthouse, awakening many masculine energies that are coming into contact with you. And again, this may or may not necessarily be romantic. In many cases, this could be you awakening others, and then them feeling this desire to be around you, to work with you, to give you opportunities, or be close with you. But what I'm picking up the most strongly is actually much more specific. This is where I feel this will maybe only connect with a few people. And this is that what this Four of Wands reverse card is pointing towards. But for now, 
I am going to pull just one final Rumi Oracle card to close the reading, and this card is You Who Show the Way. I can already tell this is going to be speaking to a divine feminine listening here. So the guidebook says, the logical mind runs away from drowning. Lovers accept drowning in the sea as their destiny. The logical mind finds consolation in reaching a level of comfort in life. Lovers are focused beyond their own comfort, Rumi. And the guidebook also says, even in your unquenchable passion for service to humanity, to the world that offers you so much, there is a time when your most powerful offering is actually, and most simply that of your presence. You show the way, you who inspire through how you choose to live and be. You who sometimes think yourself to be invisible, you who consider yourself to be of no particular or exceptional worth. Yes, you, you who, through your choice to live your truth, reveal my face, demonstrate my love, embody my presence, heal my beloveds, and love my creations. You are an inspiration. You are helping those around you, and even many of whom you are unaware. You are doing this because this is your path, this is your way, this is your gift, to live a life dedicated to the growth of consciousness, and through that dedication, inspire others to receive the loving consciousness of the great beloved that can benefit them greatly, no matter what their situation or circumstances. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.